You have no idea which way to go, do you? Just trying to get my bearings. Uh, translation, I'm lost. I, they were very clear which route to take. I prefer a straight line. Yes, of course, because everything's a shortcut in Shepherd's world. Okay, here it is again. What? I'm picking up a strange reading from right over there. Define strange. You don't know what strange means? What strange means, Rod? Weird, freakish, Just odd. trying to determine whether it's worth getting off the route back to the village. It's radioactive reading on Amish world. Your call. I mean, look, we're lost anyways. What difference is that? I am not lost. The numbers one to nine can be put in a three by three grid, so they add up to 15 in every direction. Oh, you're right. How'd you know that? I was on a Mensa test. You remember a Mensa? No, but I took the test. When? I want to talk about this now, Rodney. Right, right. Okay. See, I'd be Mr. Fantastic, Ronan would be the thing, McKay would be the human torch, you'd be the invisible woman. I am not invisible. No. No, and McKay's not a human torch. Well, how come you get to be Mr. Fantastic? Because he was the leader, and I'm the... I'm just saying that they were a cool team, and we're a cool team, and they used their strengths to, you know, Check on McKay. Could you please not do that here? Oh, my foot is still numb, if you'll excuse me. Yeah, at least your mouth still works fine. Looks like some kind of uh, natural crystalline growth. I think this might be what's causing the energy readings. Pretty. Looks like one of those toys you play with when you're a kid. A Commodore 64? Triple barrel shotgun. A kaleidoscope. You got anything? Uh, nothing. I tried everything. I mean, pacing, snacking, bathing. Bathing? Yeah. You know, like Archimedes. You mean the Greek scientist who had a crush on Taylor? No, like the Greek mathematician who came up with the Archimedes principle. It's the physical laws of buoyancy. According to legend, the idea came to him when he was sitting in the bath. So. Look, the point is that the revolution occurred while he was, you know, relaxing. I mean, he was not thinking about the problem. And the solution, as it turns out, was right in front of him all along. You think we've overlooked something? I don't know. Maybe. Look, all I know is I was up all night going over it, and I'm drawing a blank. So, look, I, I could use a fresh perspective. I'm not taking a bath with you. Has he said anything? Only his name, Reed Richards. His name is Shepard. We intercepted part of his last radio transmission. Have you tried turning it on? That's what we're working on. The problem is that there's no direct link between it and the main power control systems, which, among other things, led it to theorize that it's an ancillary power supply for weapon systems. Cool. See that? See? See the way he lights up at the mention of that? It's like Dr. Vogel at the mention of pastries. They found out a way to soup up their space gun. Yes, but it, it's much more than that. Well, the sticking point is that there's uh, no tie between the power generator and the primary capacitor. Yeah, meaning they would have to channel the power directly into the weapon. Which, I'm sure, means nothing to you. It means they could fire multiple bursts without having to store up more power for the next firing sequence. Yes. Very good. Which leads me back to cool. Let's move out. I can't believe you never mentioned the Mensa thing. I took the test. I never joined. But you passed. Yes. Well, do you know we have a we have a chapter on uh, on Atlantis? Rodney, I mean, you can become an honor. Rodney, up the rope. Well, what do you think? Perhaps he's learned a lesson. He's Lucius. You kidding me? He's made a lot of mistakes in the past, but uh, well, who hasn't? Why are you looking at me? Look, at least he's trying to do something good in order to get people to like him this time. Well, I've completed my tests. Looks like Lucius is telling the truth. He fainted. Well, it's got to be a better word. Faint is the proper medical term. I passed out from manly hunger. Well, hang in there. Dr. Weir, this is Shepard. Uh, McKay's okay. He, uh, he fainted. Oh, it's, it, yeah, it's very sympathetic. That's all Mark the Dying Man. Thank you. Well, I said it looked like a monkey. You know, hair, arms, legs. And a beak. Didn't have a beak. What? Well, here, I uploaded it. There. Oh, well, you know, that really clears things out. What do you expect? It was trying to kill me. What the hell is that thing? Well, let's send a team biologist down there and let them figure it out. Might be a good place for an alpha site. The planet did seem suitable. Good climate, abundant food and water. Excellent choice for an off-world base. Aside from the flying monkeys. All right, we're coming into range, Rodney. Seems Ronan doesn't want to leave. 
Well, too bad you tell that ungrateful example of unevolved humanity that we came all this way to rescue him. So I better get off his ass. McKay says he's very hurt you won't come with us. Reminds me of an old Batman episode, actually. This uh, cat woman used a drug to put a spell on Batman, make him fall in love with her. Ended up doing all sorts of evil things for her. It's kind of a turn on, actually. It's Julie Newmar in the cat outfit. Eartha Kitt was Catwoman. Not till season three. Really? Yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, so, anyway, I, I did a little investigating. Nice work. It was your idea. Well, of course it was, but you, uh, you were there. Lieutenant, way to survive what I think may be my worst nightmare. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Now, as it stands right now, all the energy they capture is rooted into four main grounding stations. In turn, the stations ground all that energy into the ocean below us. So instead of sending electricity to ground, we use it to power the shield. How? By directing it right down the corridors of Atlantis and into the shield generators. The city can handle that? Yes, theoretically. Like dinosaurs turn into birds, theoretically, or theory of relativity, theoretically? What? Uh, somewhere between. Elizabeth! Is time travel even possible? Well, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, there's nothing in the laws of physics to prevent it. Extremely difficult to achieve, mind you. You need the uh, technology to manipulate black holes to create wormholes not only through points in space, but time. Not to mention a really nice DeLorean. Don't even get me started on that movie. I like that movie. So, tip it to the stick. We extend the camera through, record for a few minutes, pull it back, Play the recording. Yeah, mouth on a stick. Yes, mouth on a stick. Very clever. Are we done? How big is this place? Don't worry, I've got an excellent sense of direction. Did you say you got lost in a garden maze once? I was 10. Plus, I was running from a bee. That's her. You're drooling over a wraith. I know, I disgust myself sometimes. Everyone okay? Yes. No, I'm good. I think you singed my eyebrows. I think you used enough dynamite there, Butch? There are educational programs, all sorts of documentaries. Not many people watch them, but, uh, well, they're on. And that's what everybody on your planet does for entertainment. Watch a box. Not everyone. Although I will confess to the occasional half hour of Jeopardy. Jeopardy. It's the name of the show, Jeopardy. Sounds dangerous. Double Jeopardy? That's twice as dangerous. I'll do it. OK. Wait a minute, Rodney. You're still wearing the shield. Now, isn't there a chance that if something went wrong, that would protect you? What do you mean? How are you feeling about what? Do you think I wanted to come up just now? Do you think I'm scared? I'm not scared. I'll stay. I'll do this. No, that's OK. You might faint again. Look, it, it's just not working anymore. That's Look, she doesn't work on you either. Look, I just meant that it wasn't well, going to let you die. It is just a coincidence that it happened to stop working now. I need a drink. Go. We were trying to improve your it's like you said, everything we did, every instruction we gave was to better conditions for your people. Even if that meant cheating. Okay, you know, enough with that already. Well, the good news is it's definitely Janice's secret lab. The bad news is getting in was the easy part. There are levels of encryption on all the data here that even the most paranoid NSA agent wouldn't use. I mean, it is deep. Some of them are straight up math ciphers, while others are ancient knowledge puzzles. And until we start deciphering, there's no way to tell what any of this stuff does. Sounds like you guys make a good team, though. Mm. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll go back to being the boss. How's that going? Pretty boring, actually. Well, you're more than welcome to help us crack this first stream cipher. You know, um, he could have been in Mensa. Why don't you contact me when you two geniuses have a breakthrough? Will do. 
think we're gonna need a bigger boat. Size doesn't matter. That's a myth. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Transport beam wasn't designed for the beam from one point to another point inside the ship. We could end up rematerializing half inside a wall. Well, we're just gonna have to take that chance. Right, of course. Why not? Colonel, we're ready. Stand by. Hermione says we need to make a few adjustments first. Activating transport beam now. I agree. Major, have you made any progress with your prisoner? Well, not yet, but he just blinked. He blinked? What does that mean? Means he's still holding on, but he's indicated to me that he may break soon. And he indicated this to you by blinking? Yes. No offense, Major, but so far he hasn't told you a thing. Now, as you know, a zero-point module controls the flow of massive amounts of power. Like a dam? No, it's not like a dam. It's more like a... Uh, actually, yes, it's like a dam. If you overload the dam, it breaks, which is why the ancients put in place fail-safes to prevent such a thing from happening. Like a spillway. Can we just stick with fail-safes? Based on what's been described to me, the personification of Colonel Shepard in everyone's dreams is behaving much like a sociopath. Did I have a goatee? Right now, all it's doing is causing some nightmares. <sighs> Just um, back out if you encounter anything problematic. Problematic? Yeah, like uh, poisonous atmosphere, acid atmosphere, no atmosphere. Hey, it's mouth on a stick. Only shows you so much. OK. Well, it's obvious. Uh, the puddle jumper they escaped in must have been some sort of a time machine. It had to have an additional component built into it. Flex capacitor. Yeah. Question is, where's the time machine now? Hmm? I don't know. I think I got wetter than you did. I, I don't know. I got a little damp dialing the DHD. Wait a minute. You're talking about putting this thing in reverse? Exactly. I just suggested that two hours ago. And naturally, I dismissed it out of hand. But then I realized that including the original designer, not one, but two versions of myself have failed to make this thing work. I had to think not like me. In fact, I had to think like the opposite of me, and it doesn't get much more opposite than you. I'll take that as a compliment. Wraith back being enemies. Replicators don't exist anymore. You out of your dry spell. Hey, all is right with the world. What are you working on anyway? we will be surprised to hear that uh, removing a planet from the database is actually a lot of work. I think you'd be pretty good at that by now. You really just can't just bring up the fact that I once accidentally destroyed a couple of planets, can you? It was an entire solar system. You want to do the honors? No, go ahead. You shot me! Yes, Rodney, I shot you, and I said I was sorry. You shot me too. I'm sorry for shooting everyone. Just, the Daedalus will be here in a little while. Just get some rest. Can't tell if they were fed on by the Wraith. Yeah, something killed them. Something killed everyone on this world. I don't know why it's this outpost, if that's what it is, still intact. Doesn't make sense. What do you think, Rodney? Ha! Sorry, I, uh, wasn't listening, but it, it just struck me that this isn't an ancient outpost. Why would the Wraith leave it intact? It's a good question. <laughs>